Kathy there, Sheriff. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just yeah, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. This is good morning,
power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. 
the story was incomplete and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Oh my. Listen, ladies. 
If you think that's best. Maybe I should just stop here. Or is that too moronic? Is that too moronic? Indeed. Who can tell? It's a fine line between the stupid and the sublime. Night springs. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies.
Miss Weaver, Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me! About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we will go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? No, I got the secret route, a lit route, an old water pipe. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I had stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it.
started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, oh. He left only one thing behind in my care, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me. Knew I wouldn't refuse it. I built the welding room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! Her sweet love! Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! <laughs> Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her.
flanker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. at the dam. Not to get us killed. Oh, should have. I should have kept that gym membership.
What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Thank <laughs> you. 
a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. need changing soon and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired and if you take it I won't have to do that anymore the page was autobiographical a memory from my childhood but I didn't write this it was a page written by Thomas Zane none of them were supposed to exist anymore Alan seven years old would fight sleep to the bitter end when he did sleep he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Chances flow and by. 